Okay, here's the rear assembly of how you fasten down the actual um, uh, assembly for the, uh, for the sacrifice system. It uses what they call J bolts. As you can see, it's a long bolt that's been bent here uh, with a threaded end. Now, this will actually feed through. Remember those tie down uh, uh, marks that we talked about earlier? These will actually feed through and then up through a pre drilled hole in the back on a mounting plate of, uh, of the assembly. Now, if you make the mistake of bolting on the top pieces first of, of the cross member up front, what you're going to have is you're going to have a difficult time feeding this J bolt through this tie down area and then back up through this uh, pre drilled hole. So what I did is I made sure I left those uh, cross member bolts undone, didn't even attempt to put those in and it, I, it allowed me to feed the J bar through and then lift up on the unit right here on the back and make sure that I could successfully thread this uh, J bolt in place. Now, uh, SireFi provides a nut that will go over the top of this that you will simply clamp down, which will pull up on this tie down to securely fasten the back part of the assembly. Now, as you can see, I have loosely assembled this rear uh, tie down area uh, for stabilization of the of the assembly and you'll notice one thing that uh, might be a little tip uh, it doesn't come with the kit but uh, you'll notice that this uh, metal piece will end up sitting directly on the back of the bed of the Rhino what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find some nice durable rubber and I will most likely get uh, a quarter inch or a half inch uh, piece of rubber and I'm, most, I'm going to put this underneath between my bracket and my bed hopefully save up this nice paint job.